starting this summer at the city of Philadelphia will mandate reta retailers accept legal tender. And city councilman Bill Greenlee called it an issue of fairness. But others say much more cities such as New York, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. are considering similar bills. So to break this down, what this means for our future economy, I have to bring in legal and media analyst Lionel. I mean, Lionel, I have to ask you, did you even get a debit card or are you still one of those that do you have a checkbook and cash that you pay everything in? No. <laughs> this has nothing to do with cash, has nothing to do with keeping the black market up has nothing to do with convenience, has nothing to do with neat little ways to have an e-wallet. This is about successive approximation, incremental steps, and the habituation of society to eventually having a chip, uh, RFID, something placed in you. This is how we're moving. We start off with something innocuous about we don't want those drug dealers to, oh yes, that's right, because you not being able to pay with cash at the drugstore is going to prevent the next El Chapo. It's the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard in your life. And then what happens is Amazon is doing its Amazon Go stores, where you walk in. And you see what's interesting, Scotty, is you, you don't have to take out your phone or your wallet. It just picks up the fact that who you are, and you can take stuff off the counter, off the shelf. This is great. And you walk out, and you love it. Then you don't have to worry about any kind of cabs or money or drugstores. And then eventually, they're going to say, you don't even need a wallet. And then we're going to say, you know what? Let's just really go, not only cashless, but stuffless, a phoneless, chipless. The moment, remember this, mark this, somebody put this in the museum. The moment that human beings in this country stand up and wait online to have an RFID chip placed in them, it is over because we become the chip. We are an organic molecule surrounded, basically, we're like a transmitter, surrounded by a carbon shell. We become the chip. And when that we talked last week about people right. being able to put implants, this has nothing, nothing to do with cash or convenience. It's about ultimately getting this inside here. Okay. Mark my well, now that you've just scared half of our audience, thank you for thinking that the doomsday is about to happen. Let's let's before we go to that. There's going to be the point that a lot of people are saying that the concerns are actually because we've been taking off the gold standard. Dollar bills can be printed off a printer way too easy. This is a better accountability form. My biggest concern, amongst others, but one of the ones that is the most pressing, is the fact that it's all computerized. And if my phone goes on the fritz as much as it does, wouldn't a computer that has all of our numbers? I'm you know I'm one of those people that are almost scared of the bank sometimes if whether or not they have a shortage or if they have a problem with their their technology should it be also concerned just to those that don't want to go ultimately to the doomsday scenario that they're going you know what things can get hacked all the time technology are we really prepared Absolutely. to go to a cashless society and when everything can get hacked let me ask you this much let's say that what's happening in Venezuela in terms of this this blackout happens here Let's say someday some nefarious bad guy hits us with some Carrington class EMP, black, and we're, the grid is destroyed. And not only can we not get money out of the ATM, you can't get water or food. Oh, yes, well spoken and well taken. But remember, ultimately, it's about putting this inside here because we are the chip. <laughs> Mark my words. Well, coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> Lionel's new scary movie might even be more scary than the Momo Challenge. Thank you, Lionel, for joining us on this. Thank you. Hey, YouTube, thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this last video. We have a ton more great content just like this for you. So if you want more, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And remember, never stop questioning more.